what's going on guys and welcome to your sixth jQuery tutorial uh, let me know in the comment section if my voice is audible to you now because I have been getting some suggestions by some users that I'm not audible in most of my videos so just let me know if the voice level is now okay so let's start with this tutorial and what we'll be doing in this tutorial is uh, we'll be learning about some information about scripts now basically I have made this tutorial because on the internet I see a lot of confusion among people that the difference between basically in inline uh, internal and external and the execution order of scripts and all that information about script execution in the browser so to start with let's learn with different types of scripts so first of all down here we are including a jQuery file so we are giving it a URL or kind of a path for the browser the browser down here to locate this file and currently the path is something like this this URL suppose if I download this file and place it down here in this jQuery folder and I can actually give this a normal path like script src jQuery dot .js if this file is present down here with this folder so this type of script inclusion is called external scripts now by that what I mean is let's view this URL now if you open this then you'll get a lot of J, uh, JavaScript code but it's not actually bounded in script tags opening and closing script tags as you can see the JavaScript directly starts from here and all the way down to this line and it's not bounded in any script tags so while linking with external script tags we do not include any script opening or closing script tags in the file so if I do like let's say if I create my own script file script src script.js and I store it down here in the same folder and I do alert then it would work because we don't need any script tag down here for this JavaScript to work and the reason because that is first of all we are including it with the script tag already uh, next thing we have a .js extension which already stands for a JavaScript file especially a JavaScript file so this would give us an alert on the browser okay so the next thing is internal scripts now by internal scripts what I mean is the scripts we have been doing since last four or five tutorials maybe the script we write inside a opening script tag and a closing script tag so everything we do everything we do down here is internal script and the difference between external and internal is quite similar and basically quite visible to you that in internal scripts we have uh, the opening tag and the closing tag whereas in external script we just give the path of the script and down the script we don't include any script or any HTML tag so this was about internal scripting and then we have inline scripting and what is inline scripting for example let's create a function in the script.js I'm just doing normal JavaScript down here my function and let's say it would just give an alert and down here in the body let's add body on load body on load my function so this down here this on load on load event attribute acts like a internal JavaScript so basically this thing right here is internal JavaScript so internal JavaScript is actually directly given to the HTML tags so I guess the difference is clear external JavaScripts are loaded with a path or a file URL or anything and no HTML tags or basically no script tags are included in external file then we have inline JavaScript which are given inside a script tag opening script tag and a closing script tag and then we have sorry this is internal JavaScript and then we have inline JavaScript 
which is given in the tags of the HTML directly so and one thing to notice is that that in this case down here you cannot use the script tag as a internal script so basically this won't work this thing down here won't work once you have given src to a script tag then you have to use another script tag to write your javascript code the next thing i want to talk about you guys is talk with you is that the order of execution now you must uh, remember this thing that unless you specify some keywords known as tefer or asynchronized then your and i'll explain these two keywords in my next tutorial but for now just remember that in most of the ideal cases the scripts are executed from top to bottom that means the first script would be executed first would be downloaded by and executed by the browser first then the second then the third and so on so basically if your script.js down here let's say if it's using a document.ready function and let's say we are just doing an alert ready uh, let's say we are calling it after jquery so we have the jquery or the dollar variable as i told you in my previous tutorials available to us but if we call this above this so basically what happens is browser will firstly render this script and then will download this script and browser will say to this script that i don't have this jquery variable so it would log an error in the console which would say undefined variable dollar or jquery or whatever you are using in down here so yeah as you can see dollar is not defined because we are calling the script above jquery and since the script is executed and passed by the browser before the jquery is downloaded to the browser therefore the browser says that this variable dollar down here which actually means jquery is not defined so that's uh, these were some basics of javascript actually they are not belonging to jquery they do not belong to jquery but i made this tutorial because i've been seeing uh, on various places on internet that there's a lot of confusion about these two topics basically the types of scripts and the execution order so i hope i'm clear with this concept and in the upcoming tutorial we'll be doing some hands-on coding with jquery so stay tuned with me and keep watching and don't forget to subscribe